and welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catspit Productions. We're here again today with Greg Marcus from RhinoTech and we're over here in the washout booth area because Greg brought us a filtration system for the washout booth so that uh, we can put all of our drain wastewater through the filtration system. Greg, what can you tell us about this filtration system before we take a close look at it? Well, this one is called the M10 and it's made of polypropylene. Polypropylene construction will stand up to all the chemicals that we use in screen printing. Right. Um, we also make them in stainless steel, however. Mm -hmm. Some people prefer that. Yeah. However, the polypropylene is a little more affordable, it's easier to work with and so forth. Mm -hmm. We also then, the first thing we're going to do is when the water comes out of your washout booth, it drains into a paper filtration system. It's a woven paper. It comes in a 5 micron, a 10 micron, and a 20 micron. Now the 5 micron will catch everything that's 5 microns and larger. So it's going to collect... And particle size. Particle size. we're talking about here. Okay. Exactly. And it's going to catch the bulk of everything that's going to go down the drain, or prior to going down the drain. Right. Um, and what we'll do is we'll take a closer look at it and look at the guts. But at that point, we're going to get it installed, and then we'll run through it again with it actually in production. Right, yes. Uh, I will install the unit in, in underneath the washout booth and um, we will do a, uh, a second part of the video which will follow up and show you the unit in place and how it functions. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up the camera and we're gonna take a close look. Greg's gonna tell us a little bit about how the system works. So let me pick up the camera and we'll take a look right now. All right, so here we are with a little close-up view. So Greg, why don't you tell us how this system works? Okay, um, well, Again, we have a filtration media, and we're using that 5 micron that we talked about. And that is a simple roll of uh, filter, pa filter paper that lasts a long time. We mount it on the side of the unit, feed it up through, it fits into a basket area. So what we're going to do is be collecting. Eventually, we're going to start collecting enough sludge that that's going to start to back up a little bit. At that point, we cut off the excess paper, take this amount, put it into a cardboard box, let it dry. Once it's dry, it's a solid waste. You can throw it right out in your garbage. Right, okay. At that point, you just weave this back through. It's held in place like this, um, and you don't have to worry about it. Now, as far as the internal part of this, you'll see here that the grate is an actual, it's a perforated polypropylene case, but inside that, we have a, a wing dam, a, a kind of like a, a waterfall, shall we say. So anywhere this water falls in here, it's going to come over and it's going to drain into this section of the tank. And that's really important because whatever else in the solids that does fall through this filter media is going to be heavy, it's going to drop to the bottom, and this is a wing dam. So then the water will gradually fill, roll over the top, and exit right through this drain attachment right here. Okay. So Basically, any sediment or particles that are left over um, that are smaller mm -hmm. that pass through would settle in yeah. the first side of the tank. That's correct. So that again, anything. So if anything gets through this, we're not going to be putting it down the drain. We're going to catch it on this side here. Right, which should be very little. This is this one here is set up with a five micron That's filter correct. system. So That's correct. there'll probably be very minimal sludge, if anything. E exactly. Now, this will depend on your installation. Um, some things have to be done periodically, and that is, if you have a floor drain, you're going to take that attachment over there and immediately attach it to your drain or run to your floor drain, and the water just goes out. Right. Okay. However, and Jonathan, in your case, you yes. have a wall drain, right, which is coming straight out of the washout booth to the side. Now, obviously, this isn't going to drain that way. So at that point, we add a discharge pump. Right. It's an electric discharge pump. It sits in place. At a certain point, there's a float on it. When the float gets up to the high side, it'll automatically kick on, discharging all the water out right out the drain. Right. So basically, uh, if you don't have a floor drain and your drain is higher than the outlet on this, you use the pump to That's move the water into the drain. That up is and correct. Into the drain. That is correct. And, I mean, this pump is so strong that you actually can go straight up 10 feet if right. you had to. Okay. So, that'll take care of this. And at this particular point, once this is installed, 
um, we're going to be as compliant as we can be within our industry. Now the nice thing about that as well is not only are you doing it for yourself, but you're doing it for everyone else. And if the city does come in and do an inspection, which they do periodically, they're going to see that you're doing everything within your power to be compliant. Right. And subsequently, you're in good shape. Right. So even if, even perhaps if you did uh, have any problems, the very fact that you're making an effort goes a long way. It always goes a long way. Okay, so that's good. And that's something that Catspit has wanted to do for some time. So we're really appreciative of uh, Greg and Rhino Tech uh, donating this particular uh, filtration system for us so that we can help uh, you know, preserve the environment and be compliant. And uh, you know, that's something that we've wanted to do a long time. So we're real happy to be able to do that. Good. Okay, and now what we're going to do, um, you know, Greg, if, is there anything else that you'd like to tell us about this unit at all? Um, no, it's, again, it's pretty straightforward, it's pretty self-explanatory, but it is something that, I, one additional point is that it will fit under almost any booth manufacturer's booth. Yeah. I mean, this happens to be a, a Raynar booth, and it'll fit underneath that, it'll fit underneath the booths that we make, uh, from little ones to large ones. And if you happen to have a system that is a really low booth that's lower than this, we can actually make you what we call a low boy. So okay. that it's a lower profile to get it in and it'll do the same job for you. Right. Okay. Yeah. And that is a pretty small washout booth I have. And this unit does, it still fits in there. Can you tell us, how would this ship? Would this ship freight or UPS? This particular thing can ship UPS because it is compact enough. Okay. So that's pretty good. Yeah. Absolutely. We try to, in most cases, anything we can ship UPS, we do. Okay. That's why we even produce a knockdown washout booth. Right, right. Okay, great. So what we're going to do next is we're actually going to install this filtration system underneath the washout booth right there, and then we will come back and show you the system working, functional, and installed. Okay, so uh, we're going to break here, and then the unit will be installed, and we'll be back to take a look at it. All right. Thanks a lot, Greg, for uh, showing us how that works, and I'll be back with the installation. Okay, sounds great. Okay, so it's a couple of months later, and I finally got the M10 filtration unit installed underneath the washout booth and everything is working very well. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to go handheld with the camera and I'm going to show you some close-up shots of how the unit has been installed underneath my very small washout booth. Okay, so um, let's check it out. Okay, and I'm using a little light here to help light this but that's the um, the exit port here's the the drain pipe which I've lowered a little bit so you can see it drains in there and you can see already that it's already you know preventing ink and all kinds of stuff from going through there there's the power cord comes out Right there, if you can see that, there's the power cords for the discharge pump. Okay, so that's the drain. There's the little exit valve. All right, and let me back up. Okay, and you can see how the whole unit is centered underneath the washout booth. And then that little drain where the water drains out to is over here and we'll show you that so you can hear the water running and as soon as the uh, float on the discharge pump gets pushed up enough you'll see the water get pumped into the drain and there it goes Okay, so every time, you know, the water level gets high enough, that pump goes on. 
All right, and there's the, the line that goes back behind the washout booth. Okay, so I have some water running and it's just running and it's going into the little unit, dropping down through the lowered pipe. When the discharge pump kicks on, it goes through that little exit valve, around the back, through that line, and straight into the drain. Okay, so that's it. It's actually um, a pretty simple little system. It's very cool. And as you can see, it fits under a really small washout booth. I mean, it, my, my setup is really small. So I thought it was pretty cool. Works very well. Well, all right, so that's it for the M10 filtration unit installation and the rundown on how it works. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you'd like to see uh, some close-up photographs and some notes and stuff I made about the installation, go to the new Catspit Productions forum, which you can find on the Catspit Productions website at catspitproductionsllc.com, right? And click on the forum link and look for the vendor section of the forums and go to the RhinoTech section and click on the uh, filtration unit uh, post or topic. I'm sure you can find it there if it's um, M10 filtration unit or filtration systems post it's called. And you will see my uh, rundown and, and, and notes and pictures and stuff of the actual installation. Okay, thanks a lot for uh, watching the video. I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot to Greg Marcus and RhinoTech for donating the M10 filtration unit to Cat Spit Productions so that we could be environmentally compliant and also provide this information to you all. And uh, we really appreciate that. So thanks a lot to Greg Marcus and thanks a lot to RhinoTech. And thanks a lot to you guys for watching. If you like what you see, comment below, rate thumbs up, and please subscribe. We'll see you next time.